This is Sunil from Penrose Learning. The query that we're going to address today is how we can import multiple Excel sheets into a single data frame. So for this, I have an Excel file over here with multiple sheets and they are split across using months, say Jan and Feb, and it has some shipment data and it has the same number of columns in both the sheets so i'll just look through that yeah it has columns up to z and the feb sheet also have columns up to z so basically my idea is to combine both of these sheets into a single data frame in the easiest way possible okay so let's get down to the uh, jupyter notebook and see how we can go about it so the first thing to do is to use the read excel module right and then let's give the name of the file okay and the next step would be to give the name of the sheets so that is sheet underscore name so i have the ability to give individual sheet names one by one so if you have say 10 sheets you can give individual sheet names but then if all the sheets in your Excel file are required to be imported, then the best way to go about it would be to give the keyword none. None doesn't mean that you're not going to include any of the sheets. It basically means it's not going to pick and choose individual sheets. It's going to import all of the sheets in one go, right? So that would be the best way forward for us in this particular scenario. So I'll just run the code and see. So basically we are expecting that uh, shipments is going to be a data frame which is going to contain all the sheets from the Excel file. So let's just run this. Okay, it's run successfully without any errors. Now let's go and check shipments. Okay, now that looks something different, right? So that is not a data frame. Uh, it already says here it's an ordered uh, DICT. DICT is dictionary. So for those who are not really familiar with programming, this might be a little difficult to understand as to what this is. So basically, this is just a group of dictionaries. So what it's done is uh, the Jan uh, sheet and the Feb sheet are separate dictionaries, basically. And uh, it's been grouped together. So if you look at it, uh, we have the Jan sheet over here. And you can see it has its index and uh, if you scroll down we see that we have the feb uh, sheet as well which has imported uh, with its own 62 rows but then it has its own separate index and its column headers so obviously it is not what we were expecting correct so we will need to convert this into a, a data frame so how can we go about doing that so let's keep the whole concept very simple. So we will not be adding any more lines of code to get this done. We will instead, we, we will uh, read the Excel file in combination with the concat module. So the concat module basically all, is also useful when you want to combine uh, multiple data frames as well. So for now we will uh, use this in combining these uh, dictionaries. So I'll just enclose this within the concat module and then run it okay it's run without any errors now let me rerun shipments okay interesting now this looks like a data frame doesn't it let's have a quick look at the data okay we have a little problem over here if you notice that we have two index values over here so we have the sheet name that uh, is appearing and then we have the individual index values but then let's scroll down so here the index starts from zero and as we scroll down uh, I see there are 124 rows so the last index value is only 61 so I believe what has happened here uh, we've we've just uh, included the index again from zero for both the sheets so that is not right so we will need to ignore the index values when we concat uh, these two uh, dictionaries so 
luckily there is an attribute that we can give where we say ignore index so by default it is it does not ignore the index so the default value is false so we'll say true okay and then let's rerun it okay there we go and now let's run shipments once again okay fine let's have a quick look through the data okay now there's only a single index value so i should be seeing more than 120 records with its respective index perfect so now i have got the right index values in there now also managed to merge the data so we'll have a quick look through the data as well so the order id 1433 and yeah so we have unique it's not in the sorted order that we can sort it as well but so for now the data looks to have uh, combined in the way that we wanted into a single data frame so all the documentation you'll find in the comment section below so uh, thanks for watching